What's up, family? It's me, your boy, your urban sports guru. I just want to hot out real quick, give y'all the rest of my NFC East, NFC predictions, and this is for the NFC North. First of all, Instagram, thank you for the like, thank you for the follow. YouTube, thank you for the like, thank you for the subscribe. Make sure you hit the like, hit the subscribe. Subscribe, sorry. Um, who will be coming in first in the AFC North? Uh, I just didn't got that bad man Aaron Rodgers, but I still gotta go with um, still gotta go with the Minnesota Vikings. When I look at this team from top to bottom, let's just start with defensively. I've been in love with their defense for the last couple of years. Up front, Everson Griffith, the rush passer, then about Joe, they stuffed the run, then you add Sheldon Richardson to that. Linebackers, I've been a huge fan of Kendricks. I feel sorry what's happening with his brother right now, but I've always been a huge fan of Kendricks, both of them. Uh, I wish they were both on the same team, but they, they're both damn good. I've always liked them. And Anthony Barr. Anthony Barr does not get talked about enough. This guy's an all-world linebacker, and I think he got drafted to the right situation for a team that's going to play him off the line of scrimmage and let him develop. He can make plays spaces. Let him be an athlete and run. I think if he got drafted by a team that's going to line him up, to think he's going to rush the quarterback and get 15 sacks, his first couple years, that shit was not going to happen, in my opinion. However, I just think, then we look at the back end of their defense. They got um, safety, great safety, Hobo Calvary safety, and they got Xavier Rhodes, the new Richard Sherman, in my opinion. <laughs> he's an absolute problem. I love him in, in Florida State. Then you look offensively, the offensive line is good. And two good receivers on the outside. And Kirk Cousins was always a quarterback who he's not going to make your team, but if you put him on a good team with a good situation, it's not going to hurt you. You know what I'm saying? Um, I just think that that team, they're just loaded top to bottom. They really are. They really are stacked, stacked team talent-wise. Kirk Cousins has the targets. Kyle Rudolph is an underrated tight end. You know, he, the only thing that Washington has better than, than Minnesota is tight end and, and Jordan Reed, who's more talented, but he's never there. He's always hurt. He's always hurt. Kyle Rudolph is there. Damn good tight end, and he's there. He's gonna, the best ability is availability. You know, so I'm out here in Manhattan right now, Herald Square. But um, I got to say Minnesota. I think Minnesota is going to be number one in the NFC, but I'll get to that later on. Um, then I got number two, I got, of course, I got Green Bay. I mean, Aaron Rodgers is the best quarterback in the game. Got a hell of a lot of money. Just got paid, got broke off, and deserves every single penny. The problem is, they're never gonna win another Super Bowl. And they're not gonna win another Super Bowl for the simple fact of, I, you pay A-Rod a all that money, he deserves every nickel of it. But I do not put the trust in the Green Bay Packers organization to surround him with what he needs to win a Super Bowl. I mean, look at the team he had that won a Super Bowl that year. That's the only team, yeah, they gave him a great defense. That's the only year they gave him Clay Matthews with a great defense. Clay, they've wasted Clay Matthews, not just his career, they've wasted Clay Matthews' career. Clay Matthews is a great player. Damn good football player. And you've had him all these years and you've never given him enough counterparts. You know, you've give, given them guys, some guys who are still decent or whatever, but you haven't given him studs we have not given them studs and i'm interested to see what muhammad wilkinson has left because he was always a very good player on the jets you know what i'm saying i think he made a pro bowl or two one of his contract one of his money whatever and just had so many defensive tackles finally became expendable i'm interested to see what he can do in green bay playing on the defense that's not held up to the standard that the jets defense was held up to because they had no offense now you play an offensive team, can you bring that standard to their defense? Let's see. Um, secondary, ha -ha, other than Clinton Dix, who, who, who are they? Who are these guys? I mean, they meant to write home about, you know, once again, it's Aaron Rodgers just here. Turn this water, take this water and turn it into wine. That's the, that's, <laughs> that's the Green Bay Packers. I mean, thankfully you have Aaron Rodgers to do that with. Because there's very, very few quarterbacks who can do that. Now, um, in light of last night's news, um, with the Bears getting Khalil Mack, first of all, let me say, wow. <laughs> like, 
Now, Chicago getting Khalil Mack is wow, once again. Uh, they paid the two first round picks, and he's worth all of that. I mean, Chicago has different issues going on with their draft picks right now. But, um, I mean, Khalil Mack is one of the best in the game. And you add him to a defensive minded organization. I'm not the biggest fan of Mitch, uh, Mitch Trubisky. I'm not. He's going to have to show me. A lot of people are really banking on him this year. Um, like I said, he's going to have to show me. Now, Matthew Stafford is always someone as far as the Lions. Matthew Stafford is, no one's questioning his talent. You hear that popular term, arm talent. He has all of that and then some. Then some. I, I watch games of this guy where he makes throws that no, it seems like no other quarterback even dare make the throw. He make it look like it's too. Nothing. Regular Tuesday shit, but I want to see the production, not just in stats, but in wins. I've yet to see that translate to that. Even when he had a whole bunch of horses, when he had Megatron and Reggie Bush, and, you know what I'm saying. But also, what I will say, consistently, they need to give him a running game. They need to give him a running game. Finally, can they give him? They went and got the Garrett Blunt, if I'm not mistaken. Can they consistently give him a running game? Now, Matt Patricia, from what I've seen in preseason, he's got a lot of work to do with that defense. And also, I want to see one of these Belichick, Belichick disciples actually be successful. None of them has been successful as head coaches. So, those two are going to be bringing up the rear. Who comes in third and fourth right now, I don't even give a shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm leaning towards the Bears coming in third. In light of last night's news, even though, like I said, I'm not a fan of Mr. Trubisky, he's going to have to show me. I'm leaning towards Chicago coming in third and the Lions coming in fourth. That's my picks for the AFC North. It's your boy, Urban Sports Guru. Salute.